Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nokonic here, and today we're going to be doing a comparison between the Burning to the Last Super Saiyan Goku Angel Super Kaioken and the Next Level Strike Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan cards. Alright, so before we get into this, guys, let me just state, I've been getting a lot of questions in the comments, and I've seen so many comments up on Facebook about this. The Super Kaioken card, the one that just came out, the physical one, is not farmable. You cannot farm a super attack at all. The card that drops from the event is a base form Goku Angel card. That card itself also does not feed into any other card except for one one agility card that is also farmable. That one's farmable from the epic battle event that he he's the, the actual tech R rare Goku that drops from the epic battle event and he Doken awakens into that uh, agility Angel Goku. So those are the only two base Angel Goku cards and then that one, the the one that the intelligence one that drops from the event, Doken Awakens to do a Super Saiyan Angel. Anyway, with that being said, guys, um, we're only going to be talking about these two cards over here: the Super Saiyan Kaioken Angel and the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken cards. All right. With that being said, hit that subscribe button if you are new here, and let's get into the analysis. Let's go ahead and talk about the cards themselves. The first one is Burning to the Last, Super Saiyan, Goku, Angel, Super Kaioken. Let's go ahead and just talk about uh, the basic TUR cards. Uh, Super Attack, Super Kaioken, Kamehameha causes immense damage to the enemy while sacrificing 7% HP. Passive skill, Thundering Aura, Key plus 3 and Attack plus 100% when HP is 50% or above. Link skills, Prepared for Battle, Shocking Speed, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Over in a Flash, Other World Warriors, and Fierce Battle. His max stats are 8963, attack of 8371, and defense of 4590. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 140%. The other card is the next level strike, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. Now this is actually the Kaioken version of him when he's using the Kaioken with his Super Saiyan God powers. Uh, this is Super Attack 10 times Kaioken God Kamehameha. Causes immense damage to the enemy while sacrificing 5% HP. Passive skill is Divine Technique, attack plus 20,000, and defense plus 10,000 for 10 turns from the start of the turn. Link skills are Over in a Flash, Shocking Speed, Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, Warrior Gods, Prepared for Battle, and Kamehameha. Max stats are HP of 8550, Attack of 9300, and Defense of 4475, and he has a 12 key multiplier of 155%. Now, both these cards are really good in their own right. Both of them have the same exact Link skill sets. Literally everything's the same except for the fact that the Super Saiyan Blue card has Warrior Gods and the Super Kaioken card has the Otherworld Warriors. Now both of them are really good in their own right. Now technically the Warrior Gods is a little bit more relevant for you because unless you've got both him and the Paikuhan and the Paikuhan is one of your best strength units, chances of you running them on the same team is not that high. Uh, you can technically, I mean, the, the Intelligence Vegeta has it, and he's a really good hard-hitting card, so you have a higher chance of you actually utilizing the Link Warrior Gods, which is attack plus 1200. For the sake of this video, that's not being taken into consideration at all. I will not take that into consideration, so um, let's just go along with the fact that every other Link skill of these guys is hit off. Uh, let's also state, I want to make sure you guys were both aware, you were all aware, that their super attack multipliers for the immense damage multipliers, the two of them are exactly the same. They're literally the same. They go from 208% to 505%. That is for the Kaioken Angel and the Kaioken Blue cards. So I'm using, I did a whole bunch of math here for you to try and get this taken care of. It's actually cool because I'll probably be using this in future videos when I do comparisons like this. So let's go ahead and talk about both of the cards, right? Both the cards with their base stats, let's actually drop this down to two right now. Uh, we're going to go over it in a second. Um, two, now what, why two? So 2 is a double Vegito blue lead that is a 50% and a 50%, which is 100%, so your base stat is going to be times by 2. So the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku is multiplied by 2, and the Super Saiyan Kaioken Blue uh, Bloku, Goku is multiplied by 2 as well for 16,000. Now I have their passive skills added on, which is a multiplication times 2, and then this one is an addition of, of uh, what this is, of a 20,000. So that gets added on, then the Super Saiyan Links, well this one's actually just, we should rename this Link so I don't confuse anyone. Um, the 1.25 that we have on both of these cards is for the Super Saiyan Link and the Super Fierce Battle Link. So they get the 1.25 or 25% buff overall. And then their 12 key multipliers, 1.5, 1.4. Their Kamehameha's get added on afterwards, only because that's what I found on the Reddit. Every single post that I found, the Kamehameha was added after the links and everything. And it does make sense, because you get the links, and when you get the Kamehameha link to go off, that gets added after the, the uh, actual Super Saiyan and all the other links get added on. 
from there we have the super attack multipliers now i did want to state with these outcomes right i went into a couple different battles and every single battle the numbers did not match up perfect all right the numbers were very very close they were with within 5000 of the final outcome for each of these cards actually the the super saiyan kaioken goku the basic one over here without the god powers he was a lot closer in damage but uh, I, did, I just want to let you guys know, the numbers that are here are an estimate of the numbers that they're going to do, but they're very, very close. So let's go ahead and look at this, alright? So at Super Attack 10, this is what we're going to be basing this number over. Um, the Super Saiyan Blue card does an extra almost 70,000 damage more with his base stats. And then the Super Kaioken Goku. I was able to find over on Facebook... Um, I reached out to see if anyone would give me the, the stats. I don't have any of the official stats from the wiki, but the increase on both of these cards for base potential system is 2,000. So let's go ahead and add 2,000 onto this card real quick. So that's what, 9, 10, 11, so we have 11,300. And this is what, 8? And that's going to be a plus 2, so that's 10,371. Wow, that disparity just dropped. Just dropped with a double Vegito Bluey. Look at this, 36,000 difference, only a 36,000 between the two. So if you have the base potential system of both of these cards unlocked, you can technically, I mean, for a 36,000 difference, it's it's a little bit better to have the blue on your side than it is for the regular Super Saiyan Kaioken. But, you know, let's go ahead and jump into the next set of numbers I want to dish out to you. So we have the two for double Vegito Blue Beat, right? But let's talk about it like this, I mean... In terms of damage output and between the two cards if you're only one on one or the other because we're talking about a super team here guys you could technically run both of these guys on the same super team but which one hits better so on a 2.4 team which is going to be 2.4 a 2.4 is a double trunks led team with the max uh, dupe system unlocked the, the base dupe system only a 6,000 attack difference between the two uh, on average, so these two cards are going to be hitting for a lot of freaking damage. Both of them are hitting for about 450,000 damage apiece. I mean, there is nothing bad here whatsoever. These cards are just amazing overall units. In terms of the damage output, the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken still has a little bit up on the Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku. Now, I mean, if you guys, any of you guys are Matthews, I am not a really big Matthew over here. I did what I paused everything that I could. I based it off of Reddit, uh, Reddit numbers and everything and formulas doing, using multiplication addition in specific order. If you see that I screwed up anywhere, let me know because I'll be doing this in future videos. So I appreciate the feedback. Um, I believe that this is as good as I could possibly get it though. So uh, in terms of a double 70% lead, the Kaioken Blue Goku still out damages the Super Saiyan at the 100%. Now, I don't, in terms of if you want to add another thousand, let's say if you have both of them with uh, the max stoop system, uh, with one, one path unlocked, you get like an extra thousand on there. We're going to add another extra thousand on this guy too, so we'll get to 12. He starts doing less and less damage. Uh, let's drop that back down to a two-time multiplier for the Super Vegito Blue. Um, he's jumping back up, so, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a game. It's a mixing game. Now, personally, I don't think you're going to run a double trunk sleeve. You may. You may. I'm not saying don't run one. I'm just saying you may not want to run a double one. Um, that would drop you to a, what, a 1.2 multiplier. Uh, what is it, 70% and a 50%, so that would be 2.2, right, instead of 2.4. Because that's that's typically what a lot of us like to run. 2.2, 2.2, 3,000. So if you're running a, a Vegito Blue for one lead and a Trunks on the other lead, and you have 3,000 each one, the Kaioken Blue is still hitting a little bit harder. Uh, let's drop that back down to 11,000 for base stats, and let's drop you back down to 10,000 for base, for base potential stats. Um, I'm sorry, that's supposed to be 10,000. So yeah, the Kaioken Blue overall does better damage, has more damage output than the Super Kaioken. So if you're trying to figure out between the two of them, definitely the Super Saiyan Blue. Um, on top of that, 5% less damage dealt than the Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku. On top of that, he increases his defense, so he becomes a lot more tanky. Now I didn't do the defense numbers here, but attack the defense plus 10,000 is definitely not that bad. 10,000 for 10 turns from the start of the turn. Not bad at all. You actually kind of want that. Because if he is the second or the third, when he's getting attacked, and especially if they're normal attacks, he's dropping their attacks down, especially on their respective 120 leads. I mean, if you guys just want to take a look at the 120 numbers, let's drop this back down to base stats uh, before we go further. That's 9,000. This guy is 8,300, right? Uh, for, for their basic damage, 8,300. 
Now, the, the, that is going to be a 3.4, right? Because that's, what, 120 plus 120, 3.4. And this guy's going to be 3.4. Once you throw him on the respective 120 leads, the Kaioken Blue Goku definitely starts... Uh, not the Kaioken Blue. The Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku definitely starts to hit a lot harder. And when you start adding on those stats back onto it, he's going to go up to 10,000. And he's going to go up to 11,000. And you're starting to really start hitting, seeing a difference in the numbers. But that's how the respective mono leads. Like, when we get the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks out, the Super Kaioken Goku's going to be hitting a lot harder. Look at that Super Attack 10. He's sitting for about 600,000 damage. 600,000 versus 565,000. Or 635 versus 635. That's a 70,000 damage difference. It's amazing. So, let's just break this down really quick. Overall, on a Heroes team... The blue wins. Hands down, the blue wins. He's going to win unless you have this guy like one or two dupe pads unlocked and you actually feed a lot into the dupe system. Then he's going to start getting the gains on the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. But overall, I like the blue over him on a hero's team. Now, when we're talking about the mono respective teams, I mean, I don't have the numbers to run on all of the physical heroes. But for a 600,000 damage output on a double 120 lead, I don't think that's too shabby. I mean, and plus, you got to figure, you know, 100%, the more dupe system you put into him, the, the harder he's going to hit. Now, this is with base dupe system. Uh, if you don't want to put anything into him on a double 120 Gotenks lead, he's going to be hitting for 500,000. 500,000 damage. So, overall, guys, uh, I know this has been said. I tried to do my best to prove it to you with numbers. The Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, overall, is just a better unit. Um, in terms of damage output, in terms of defensive capability, and less uh, damage dealing to his health. Most events, you're not going to go past 10 turns, so his passive's not going to become irrelevant. And the fact that the Super Saiyan Kaioken uh, Goku, the Super Saiyan one, he, the angel, he does not, he loses his attack buff when your HP drops below 50%. That is not ideal. That's really not ideal at all. Uh, many times, you, all it takes is one super in the round of your turn before the next round when he comes up and you're gonna lose that, that that buff so personally for what it's worth the blue overall is still the better card if you're trying to debate between the two to run on a hero's team it's definitely the blue i'm not saying that this is a bad card whatsoever if you don't have the blue then hell this is still a good card to use i'm just saying the differences between the two the super saiyan kaioken is definitely uh, lower on the list between the two of them uh, when the mono physical heroes come out, he's probably going to be an ideal hero to throw on there just because of his link skill set and the fact that he hits so hard. Um, but we'll we'll tackle that and I'll do an analysis when that comes out. But that's that, guys. Um, I hope that really helped you out. Uh, I've been trying to figure out between the two as well. That's why I decided to make this graph. I'm definitely going to be saving this graph so that way I could use it in the future. Uh, let me know what you thought here. If you guys see anything that I did incorrectly with the math, please let me know in the comments below. I will make those modifications. Uh, but thank you. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. I hope this helped you out, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.